Welcome to the learning series of English Suit. So today we are discussing about tense. It is the part two of the tense because we have discussed already part one. And it's the grammar series for academic learning. Here we are discussing about four different uh, categories of tense use. As you can see, one is primary use of the tense. What is the most important use? And then we talk of the specific uses. That means uh, the tense and the time adverbials. Then we'll learn about the tense contrast. This also shows the clear ideas about using the tenses. Okay, and. The tense in sequence is for your further, better, and advanced learning. These all types of uses are important to get the clear about to get the clear ideas about the use of tense. Let's go ahead. So, uh, use of present simple tense that is verb one and verb five. The identification of the present simple tense. Uh, he does. They do. We play. So does is for five, do, play, verb one. Uh, all right. It is used to express a fact, a habit, or a regular action. So examples, it is used to express a fact. For example, the sun rises in the east. Or a regular habit like Samuel always wakes up at five o'clock. Or regular actions like she plays in two films a year. Alright, we discussed this one. And now we're talking about present continuous tense is MR plus verb 4 or verb ING. That means I'm doing, she's doing, they are playing, etc. It is used to talk about a temporary action in progress at present. For example, look at the timeline. Now, uh, in the timeline, we can see here happening now. Okay, during this sequence of time, something is happening now. Okay, and it's it, it, it is still going on. So it is used to. Uh, express okay. This kind of action is expressed in. Uh, present progressive tense. For example, she is currently writing a new book. Look, the tree is falling down. Uh, let's talk about the present perfect tense that is has had plus verb 3. That means he has done, they have done, etc. This is used to indicate completed activities in the immediate past, uh, basically used with the just, and it means just finish something. All right. So that means if it is a timeline, okay, then we can see uh, it is the time action completed at the at at sometimes in the past somewhere we completed here. All right. But uh, now you are speaking, okay? This is the time of X, uh, speaking time, and so during this timeline, the actions completed some times before in the past. At that time, we use the present perfect tense, uh, and now we are talking about the past action. It had just struck ten, all right? He had just gone out, okay? He had just gone out and we can see him far away, okay? So this is what is um, the, about the present perfect tense. Now just complete action, the effect is, is still there, okay? Uh, now let's talk about the present perfect continuous tense has a plus been plus verb three. He has been doing, they have been doing, etc. So this is used to indicate an action which began at some time in the past and is still continuing. All right. For example, if this is a timeline, all right, and it happened somewhere in the past, but we can see that it is still continuing. Now it is now it's just continuing. So in order to express, we use present perfect continuous tense. He has been sleeping for five hours. Okay, so 
sleeping for five hours. It's been five years that he has been sleeping. And is he still sleeping? Okay, so that's what present perfect continuous tense. They have been playing since four o'clock, etc. Simple past tense, simply verb to, he did, they did, we played, etc. To indicate an action completed in the past, it often occurs with adverbs or adverb phrases of time. For example, I visited National Museum yesterday. Time adverb, okay, often use time adverb in the past simple tense. Some action which is completed already. All right, so he received his letter a week ago. A week ago is the period of time, okay? And these are the very important time adverbials to indicate what tense we have to use. So he left his school last year, etc. Now, past continuous tense was where plus verb for. That means, okay, he was doing, they were doing, etc. It is used to denote an action going on at some time in the past. The time of the action may or may not be indicated. For example, we were watching TV all evening, right? The light went out while I was reading. It was getting darker, okay? So we talk about actions that happen in the past time. Similarly, past perfect tense, had plus verb 3. Uh, for example, they had done, they had done, he had done, we had played, etc. So, uh, describes, okay, past perfect tense describes an action completed before a certain moment in the past, okay. That means if this is a timeline, okay, some event happened here, all right. This event also happened here, okay, for example, he had already done this, okay, before he reached there, okay, so he had already done this before he, he had done this, okay, so the previous action is past perfect tense. I had seen him last five years ago, right, so this is how past perfect tense is used. Uh, past perfect continuous tense had been plus verb 3, he had been doing, they had been doing, etc. It is used for an action that began before a certain point in the past and continued up to that time. If it is a timeline, if it is a timeline, then it began somewhere here, alright, and it was continuing up to here, but it completed here, alright, so uh, it began before a certain point in the past and continue. Okay, it began here and it con continued up to here. Okay, so it was the action was there. So in order to express this one, we use past perfect continuous tense. At that time, he had been writing a novel for two months. Okay, so it it was two months when he was writing this novel. He began and end finish here, for example. Mr. Thapa had been teaching there for five years, okay? So he was teaching there for five years up to that time. Well, future uh, simple tense. We'll solve plus verb one, then he will do, they will do, etc. It is used to talk about things which we cannot control. It expresses the future as fact. He will know our exam result. We will know our exam results in months here. I shall be turning next Friday. So we talk about future things, okay, which we do not uh, have any control. Uh, future continuous tense will solve plus B plus verb ing. He will be doing, they will be doing, okay. So, it is used to talk about actions which will be in progress at a time in the future, all right? I will be staying here till Sunday, okay? And the postman will be coming soon. We talk about the future action that will be continued, okay, in the future.
Now future perfect tense will solve plus have plus verb free. He will have done, they will have done, etc. So these are the sample okay sentence I have used since the beginning of the tense. Uh, it is used to talk about actions which will be completed by a certain future time. So I shall have completed my book by next month. Okay, we use the by plus time adverbial by the end of this month i will have worked here for five months okay so we can recognize the tense okay that um, by plus the time adverbial and will plus have plus verb free okay works with the future perfect tense so um, we talk that um, we talk about the action which will be completed okay, by the future time. So future perfect continuous tense will sell have plus been plus verb ing. They will have been doing. Will have been doing, etc. It is used to talk about actions which will be in progress over a period of time that will end in the future. All right. So. I will have been teaching for 20 years next Baisak, all right? Or, I shall have been waiting, I shall have been writing a story for two months, all right? So, uh, we talk about the action which will be in progress if in the future time. Now let's talk about the specific uses that is very important to okay, get to identify tense and to use the tense correctly. All right. So one of the best ways to indicate and use the tense correctly is to know the tenses used with their time and time adverbials they take. For example, uh, present simple tense. Okay, in simple present tense, the time adverbials used are always, often, usually, sometimes, normally, generally, seldom, occasionally, never, hardly, rarely, frequently, constantly, daily, regularly, nowadays, every day, every week, every year every month okay so in this way these are some of the time adverbs when they come in the sentence then you have to think that we have to use verb 1 or verb 5 okay we have to use verb 1 or verb 5 so this is very important in the present continuous tense we use now still at present at the moment at this time today okay when these time adverbs are there in the sentence, then we are using is M R plus verb for structure. This is the idea of using the tense. All right. We'll give the long examples. Uh, similarly, if it is past for present perfect tense, then already, recently, just it are used in the present perfect tense lately also used in the present perfect tense so far since for okay these are used in the present perfect tense then when there are since uh, uh, plus period for plus uh, uh, since plus point of time for plus period of time okay so far it just then has a plus verb three if it is Present perfect tense, we also use since and for in present perfect tense. We have to uh, identify the tense contrast. We we'll learn this also. That is, has have been plus verb for. So, similarly, in the simple past tense, the time adverbials used are as today, ago, last year, last month, last week, in 1974, in the past, etc. Then you use verb to simply. All right. Then simple future, tomorrow, soon, shortly, tonight, in the future, next week, next month, next year. Then use you will sell plus verb three. Future perfect tense by tomorrow, by next month, okay. Uh, before next month, by this time next year, okay. The will sell have plus been plus verb three. Now let's observe the uses. All right. Look at this one. He. 
Hira always help me in the tax. Now you have to use the supply the correct tense. Help can be helps, can be helping, can be is help, was helped, will help, or okay, has helped. So we can change the different forms, okay? But what is the correct use? Okay, you have to identify this one. Alright. Then I did the send her money every month. Let's see the example sentences first. I did a write in essay uh, at uh, I write as at present. Uh, I did not do my homework at I live in this house since 1990. I did visit Mustang last year. I did call you tomorrow. I did not complete this uh, next month. Uh, all right. Then, yeah, okay. So, what to use here? For example, uh, always. So, what to use here is always identify. Always is the time adverbial we discussed previously. Always means verb 5 or verb 1. So, here always helps verb 5. So, we use here helps me in my tax. I send a letter every month. So, every month is used in the simple present tense. Therefore, we use I send her money every month. At present use in the present continuous tense, therefore we use I am writing. Okay, I write in I am writing, uh, writing uh, an essay. Okay, I am writing an essay at present. I haven't done my homework yet because at is used the present perfect tense. Therefore, at present perfect tense, then we use have plus verb three. Since it is the negative, it is used in the negative, and therefore I haven't done. Uh, live in this house since since 1990. Okay, so since plus time is used in the present perfect and present perfect continuous tense. Now it is better to use I have been living in this house since 1990. Okay. Uh, then I visited Mustang last year. Last year is a uh, time adverbial of uh, verb two of simple past. Therefore I visited. Then call it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I will call it tomorrow. M by next month future perfect uh, future pro future perfect tense. Therefore I will have visited. I will have completed this task by next month. So this is how we have to use the tense according to the time adverbials. Okay. Now let's see the another important use tense contrast. If you know the tense contrast, then contrast then it is easier for you to understand the use of tense correctly and you can also differentiate uh, between them. It is also uh, tense contrast also so the uses various uses of um, tenses too. Present simple okay for example is used for the permanent situation when you want to talk about something permanent situation we use present simple but for temporary situation we use present continuous tense all right for example if you say I work hard is a, a kind of thing that you always work hard okay um, for example my uncle lives in Japan is okay his house is in Japan but if you say I'm working hard today this means you do not usually work hard but you are working hard today so it is a temporary situation all right my uncle is living in Japan and nowadays okay his house is not there actually but nowadays he's living in Japan. So this is about the temporary situation and it's about the permanent situation. Okay. I always do. Oh, I'm always doing. For example, when we repeat things, when we do things, we very often at that time we use I'm always doing. For example, I always do. I always go to school on foot. All right. I often forget to turn off the light. Okay, this is the things which you always do. Whereas, uh, I have lost my purse. I'm always losing things. I'm always losing things. This is the things which you do very often. All right. Similarly, present continuous tense uh, is used to talk about you have already arranged to do something. Okay, when you have already arranged to do something, then you use present continuous tense. When you haven't arranged it, then 
uh, it is uncertain okay so future simple for example I'm going to join French uh, Institute next week now I will join French Institute next week what is the difference between them let's say okay I'm going to join French Institute next week means you have already decided okay and you have already arranged okay you have already talked to the receptionist talked to the owner and you're going to join there but this means uh, I will join means you will go there and it's not certain that you will be you will join the institute okay so this is uh, you have no future control here now personal arrangement and not for personal arrangement for example what time are you meeting Sunil tomorrow okay this kind of personal arrangements are also asked in the present continuous tense. what time are you meeting uh, Sunil tomorrow uh, but I'll do a part-time job okay something like all right I'm going to do because I have already decided okay I haven't yet decided okay this and these are almost similar this is uh, decided means already arranged not decided means not arranged for example I'm going to leave the country I think I will leave the country something's going to happen something might happen all right so look at those dark clouds it's going to rain because it's almost certain because there are dark clouds but uh, something may happen you can simply say it will rain okay because you have you do not have any other evidences so this is what about the present continuous and present simple too the idea is that okay when the situations uh, when you have to understand what situation the sentence is trying to say on the basis of that you have to use the present continuous or future simple too present perfect and present perfect continuous activity is recently finished very important use of present perfect tense is the activity is recently finished okay very important thing activity is not finished okay it is still continuous very simple she has recolored the house he has been recoloring the house okay she has recolored the house now it's very shining very it looks very nice now okay some of the pens are there on the ground we can see the effect there but it's still going on simple present result of the completed action okay incomplete action I have cut my finger it's bleeding okay so um, this is what you are used present for oh, I've cut my finger hey, look this is bleeding okay evidence I have been teaching for years and years okay present for for a period of time how much and how many is basically used with the present perfect tense how long is used with the present perfect continuous tense look at the example how much have you done uh, how much have you done your homework whereas how long have you been doing your homework okay action takes little time mm, extended action action takes little time. he has fallen off the breeze he is in the river now all right now he she has been running her clothes are soaked so this is the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous tense some of the verbs uh, cannot be used in the present perfect continuous tense and uh, they are used in the present perfect tense also so present perfect and simple past uh, very good uh, difference between them for recent actions for example uh, he is uh, he has taken bath his head is still wet okay uh, he took bath he didn't like to take a bath now it's already complete action okay but it has effect for the change we use present perfect tense for details of the change we use simple past tense they have left living in the country site they bought a flat in the city okay so it's just already completed action for and since plus time adverbial is used okay ago last uh, yesterday time adverbs are used subhas has been digging the field for a for a for a week all right so i already told you period of time okay time adverbials are very important to recognize the tense he left the island a day ago 
so talking about experience and achievement in general but talking about experience and achievement with a specific time or place okay when there is a specific time or place then we use simple past tense no specific time and place we use the present perfect tense for example i have written a poem on war okay i have written a poem on war in general but I wrote a poem on war last day, okay? I wrote a poem on war on Monday, okay? When we're talking about the time period, okay? Especially time, then we use simple past tense, okay? That means you can say, I have written a poem on war last last Monday, okay? Um, it's obviously, okay, wrong use of the uh, time adverbials. So another uh, uh, thing, okay, you can learn. Okay, it's uh, it's very optional for um, uh, it's very optional for uh, uh, up to C level students. These are basically used in the higher level uh, levels, okay. But it is very good to understand uh, the tense sequence. The tense of a verb in the subordinate clause changes in accordance with the tense of the verb in the main clause which is known as tense sequence that means okay uh, main clause and subordinate clause are there okay and on the basis of the uh, main clause okay subordinate clause changes all right and this refers the tense sequence for example when uh, tense sequence in the when there is okay when plus present simple plus future simple tense can be used okay example when they arrive they will phone the boss okay so that means when the, when the question is when they arrive they the that phone that means they will phone the boss you have you can say like that when sunita comes she will come with some spear okay so look at this okay uh, situation look at the six and the sequence when plus simple past simple past sequence when okay like this condition use this condition when uh, when to use this condition means when first event and second happen almost at the same time both the events overlap for example when he kicked the dog it barked okay when this first situation and second situation is almost together happening kicking the dog okay and barking happens together okay so in such conditions we use uh, past simple plus past simple for example when uh, when I open the door the air blew inside because opening the door and coming the air is almost together okay past perfect and simple past okay very important how uh, in what situation past perfect and simple past is used for example when plus past perfect plus past simple for example second event happens for after the first event okay first uh, second event happens after the first event finishes for example at that time a first action takes the past perfect and second action takes the simple past and very simple first action which is which is uh, which happened earlier takes the past perfect and the last action takes the second uh, takes the simple past tense when he had taken his breakfast he went to his college okay first he took his breakfast then he went to the college therefore the first action is had taken second is is uh, bobbed bob to he went to the college after he had taken his breakfast okay that means going to the college happened be, uh, after only after he had taken the breakfast therefore taking the breakfast is the first action had taken breakfast so you have to take the common sense okay on the basis of common sense you have to use the tense he had gone before he arrived all right so the process of going happened earlier than he arrived all right so this is what he arrived here after he had left the place okay so he arrived here which we happened later because he had already left the place Similarly, past simple and past continuous. When plus past simple, past continuous. Uh, no, uh, no reaction of the first event at that time. We use past simple plus past continuous. When I went to my uncle, he was digging the garden. Okay, this is also very important. You have to remember the situation. 
when I went to visit my uncle, he was digging the garden. All right. He was digging the garden when I went to visit my uncle too. She was taking her breakfast when I reached her. Past continuous, okay. Past continuous tense is used to talk about the circumstance when is used with the event plus past simples. Let's say he was climbing over the fence when his jeans split, okay. He was climbing over the fence is the circumstance when the event, what is the event? He jeans split. Kibayo. Usku jin split bo chatyo. Kun bela kun circumstance. He was climbing the over the fence. Eh? So when his jeans split, he was climbing over the fence. Okay. Remember that when is always used with the event. Okay. And uh, uh, while is used the we use the past continuous tense, but when and while are not used together, we'll see it later on. So while, for example, past simple events sang paregoncha, while pa, past continuous tense sang paregoncha, this is also very important to learn the tense use, uh, okay, circumstance sang paregoncha, situation sang, he burned his hand, okay, he burned his hand event bo, katana bayo, koile, while he was taking the meal out of the oven, you know, अनि खाना चाहिँ तातो ऐनाबाट निकाल्दा खेरि उसको हात चाहिँ जल्यो वाइल यू वाज टेकिंग द मीट मासु निकाल्दा खेरि अलराइट इन दिस सिचुएशन सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिचुएशन वाइल यू वाज टेकिंग द मील आउट अफ द ओवन ही बंट डाउन हिज ह्यान्ड ओके दुई तरिकाले ही बंट हिज ह्यान्ड वाइल यू वाज टेकिंग मील आउट अफ द और वाइल यू वाज टेकिंग आउट मील अफ द मीट आउट अफ द ओवन ही बंट डाउन हिज ह्यान्ड Okay. Present tense plus while plus present tense continues on. So he always comes with milk in the morning while Salma is asleep. Present tense plus present tense paragonic situation. Alright. As soon as sang kosari muncha. As soon as and when are same. As soon as plus when plus past simple past simple paragoncha. Same first even second overlap. Sang sang yi munta khari. When plus past simple past simple one is to as soon as plus past simple past simple. For example. A uh, second event overlaps, okay, before first event, okay. as soon as Kunti saw the house, he fell in love with, okay, Ghar Dekhne Vitege Man Parne Kaam, okay, so as soon as Kunti saw, he fell in love, the old, the dog bark, as soon as I kicked it, eh? okay, I kicked it, all right, as soon as pass, perfect plus simple pass, same, same situation with the one, okay, a first event finishes, second event begins, as soon as he had returned later, the, he passes straight away, right, and before and after, simple past plus before and after plus past simple, okay. He passed seaboard before he joined college, okay. So, you have to talk, okay. First, uh, first action, okay, and second action, okay. So, before and after, uh, when they, uh, we can use before and after with the simple past plus simple past situation. He passed board before he joined college. He went to live in the village after he got an accident in the city. All right, uh, by the time, by the time, past simple, past perfect tense, uh, by the time he reached the shore, he had already drawn in the sea. By the time, plus present simple, future perfect tense, by the time the soldiers arrive, I will have crossed the border. Okay, so uh, take a time, okay, and learn the sentences. These sentences are important to learn the tense, okay, use. Uh, as if, okay, simple present plus as if plus simple past. He behaves as if he was a doctor. She treats me as if she was my mother. Okay, past verb plus as if plus past perfect. All right, for example, he kicked me as if he had been a black belt. Okay, she loved me as if I had accepted uh, her as my wife, etc. Wish is structure, I wish, plus, or if only, plus, would, plus, verb one, I wish, she would love me, uh, I wish, I could earn a lot, okay, uh, I wish, plus, past, simple, I wish, she won the race, so, remember the sentence structure, this, they will help you to use in your sentences, okay, this is the idea, I wish, plus, past, perfect, I wish, she had, left the room 
Had only just no sooner had. Okay, for example, this is a structure. Okay, you have to learn. Okay, I'm going faster. Okay, you, you take your time. It is useful in the uh, coming classes too. Mm, all right. So you can say he had only just come out of the hall when bomb exploded. So okay, subject he had only just structure. Come Bob three. He had only just come. Out of the hall, come out of the hall. It is the okay bar phrase. Then when is when. Then past simple is when bomb exploded. Past simple is exploded. They had only just reached the shore when tsunami came. Okay, no sooner had plus bar three then plus past simple. This is structure. No sooner had he sold. No sooner had okay and the subject is there. No sooner had he bar three sold. Okay. Uh, then sold the house. Then, uh, then is structurally then past simple. It was destroyed by earthquake. No sooner had they reached the home, they uh, then a storm started. So, uh, thank you for uh, watching my video and learning these things. Now, okay, these are some of the questions I have prepared for you to learn and practice. All right and okay practice these uh, questions then i'll give you the answers okay uh, of this question supply practice yourself thank you very much uh, try to subscribe my channel uh, english suit